I guess that's a day that none of us will forget. But anyway, I was teaching Sunday school, so, and I was driving a car then. Well, um, as I was going down to the chur church, it was Presbyterian Church, um, not that far away, but I saw something that I'd never seen before. I see all these soldiers, sailors, I guess merchant marine or whatever they were, they were all hitchhiking towards, uh, San Pedro has a, a military base or, I mean, has a fort. And I see all these guys, uh, when I hit Pacific Avenue or Main Drag, these people hitchhiking. I've never seen this happen before. I didn't know anything was happening in Pearl Harbor then, but I saw a classmate also hitchhiking, so I called him and I said, hey, uh, come on over, can I give you a ride? And when he got in the car, he said, what's happening? I've never seen this before. And he said, you probably didn't listen to the radio this morning, he said that the Japanese are bombing Pearl Harbor and they're asking all American servicemen to go to their bases and said that, you know, those of us in this area we were all supposed to report to Fort MacArthur. So I took him there. I was sort of shocked. I thought, gee, God. Uh, and then I went on to the Sunday, uh, to my Sunday school class. The kids I had were about 13, 14 years old. They happened to be all white because our area was white. And suddenly for the first time, I felt something different that, and I felt too that my own Sunday school class looked at me differently. All the time before, I think they just saw me as a Sunday school teacher. Nothing about my background being Japanese, but that morning they did look at me strange. They probably knew that Pearl Harbor was being bombed. And, uh, well, the Sunday school kids plus myself, we felt sort of funny. We never felt this way before. But um, even the kids said, oh, let's make this short today. And I said, yeah, that's a good idea.